I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Tor Nation Production Studio, here is anchor Isaiah Courtney. Reporting from the worldwide headquarters of Tor Nation Productions, located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to Good Morning Ball High. I'm Isaiah Courtney. Dr. Hawkman is sponsoring an EF Tours trip to Costa Rica in early July. If interested, please pick up the Parent Guardian RSVP form from Dr. Hawkman in room 2080. The interest meeting will be held Thursday, September 20th at 6 p.m. in room 2080. Yearbooks are currently available for pre-order. Right now, the books are $60. November 1st, the price will go up to $65. You may order online at Balfour.com or you can directly from Ms. Christine Moore before or after school in room 2035. Also available are senior and business ads. These can also be ordered at the same website. Business ads can be paid for online in the images and text emailed to Ms. Moore. For the first time, dedication ads are available to underclassmen, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Any questions should be directed to Christine Moore at GISD.org. Also, Picture Day is coming. All underclassmen, 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, get ready to say cheese. Next week, September 27th, is Picture Day this year. Order forms will be handed out during your English classes this week. As for faculty and staff, this is your Picture Day, too. You can come get your photo taken anytime between 8.15 and 4 o'clock. But it is one day only. So don't put it off. As always, contact Ms. Christine Moore if you have any questions. Attention all students, have you heard there are many new clubs that are starting up this week? New clubs include financial literacy, robotics, esports, poor girls, yoga, and the art factory. Check the Jumbotron in the cafeteria or see Dr. Ramirez for further details. Today's picture of the day salutes our newest AP, Miss Mills. Welcome to Ball High School. And on today's calendar, it's National Cheeseburger Day. What are you having for lunch today? Now let's see what's trending in social media with Rory. Thanks, Isaiah. And here's what's trending today on social media. An eight-year-old wows the Harlem Globetrotters with his own tricks. The iPhone XS will not feature a free headphone dongle, and everyone is talking about the supposed fake weather on the Weather Channel. Back to you, Isaiah. Here's today's Fitness Minute with Annette Hammond. It's the Fitness Minute with fitness expert, Annette Hammond. Yahoo Health describes exercise as physical activity that is planned, structured, and repetitive for the purpose of conditioning the body. The key words are planned, structured, and repetitive. You must have a plan. You have got to prepare a time to do it. It doesn't just happen. Effective exercise needs to be structured. You must prearrange what you will do during your workout time, and it needs to be repetitive. Exercising once or twice a week is not enough. It's better than nothing, but you need to make your exercise time consistent and recurring. I encourage you to do some form of exercise each day, whether it's cardiovascular conditioning, strength and resistance training, or flexibility. Make physical activity your priority. You can do it. I'm Annette Hammond. If you're a fan of Fitness Minute, like us on Facebook at Fitness Minute with Annette Hammond. Here's today's Words You've Never Heard segment. It's words you've never heard. I was reading an article the other day about why men don't talk. Most women are mystified that their man just doesn't seem interested in discussing their innermost feelings with them. I think most guys simply don't want to get involved in a dithyrab that's a wild emotional outpouring. The article gave some psychological reasons for a man's lack of communication with their spouse or girlfriend. First, men were taught by their mothers not to speak with their mouth full. And well, men are always eating. Second, men don't talk while watching TV, period. Third. Guys seem to be under the impression that if they open up and say something about themselves, we'll somehow use that information against them. Now, where would they get that idea? It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. Now stay tuned for today's Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. 
It's Time Rewind for September 18th. The first edition of the New York Times is published on this day in 1851. More than a century later, in 1975, FBI agents in San Francisco capture newspaper heiress and fugitive Patty Hearst and charge her with armed robbery. From real-life agents to a fictional one. Wait a minute, 99. What are NBC you doing? NBC introduces television viewers to secret agent Maxwell Smart on this day in 1965 with the debut of Get Smart. Back a year to 1964. Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch park their Corvette for the last time as CBS broadcasts the final episode of Route 66. <laughs> September 18, 1970 is a dark day for rock and roll as Seattle native Jimi Hendrix dies of an apparent drug overdose in London at the age of 28. Born on this day, singer-actor Frankie Avalon, actress Jada Pinkett Smith, and international cycling champion Lance Armstrong. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. In addition to the website, Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check it out for even more pop culture and trivia. I'm Isaiah, and have a terrific day. <laughs>